What's up guys, it's Keaton here with The Traditional Pursuit and uh, I just wanted to get on here and tell you guys something new that we're going to be doing. Every Thursday we're going to be posting a throwback Thursday of a hunt that we've done in the past, whether that's me or Dad's or Brandon's, whatever. We're going to be posting a, a throwback video of that hunt and we're going to be sitting right here just talking to you guys and telling you a little bit about the hunt, but what happened, you know, what was going through your head, stuff like that. Um, so I got Dad here, and he's going to tell you a little bit about that hunt. Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Pursuit. It's kind of been a blast. Uh, I'll go back just a little bit earlier in the hunt for the meantime. I got into shooting traditional bow about 20 years ago, and then as I was raising my kids, Keaton here, about 12 years old, I think he took his first coyote maybe, and deer the same year with the traditional like, bow. I was 10 when I took 10 years time. old, okay. It was a super shrew bow, but he killed both of them at approximately 26 yards. Um, I knew he had an eye for shooting traditional, but anyway, about that hunt, <clears throat> um, I, I, I had uh, explored that holler across from a business of mine. It wasn't a great big holler. It was probably eight or 10 acres. And I found rubs as big as my uh, leg. And I thought, wow. So I didn't know exactly, exactly what was in there. But I knew there was something in there pretty big. I didn't think that many points. The trees was pretty big. Like I said, they was rubbed smooth. I didn't think there was a lot of trash on him. So I took and uh, went in there and threw some corn down on a, I believe it might have been a Saturday. Wind was wrong, wind was wrong. Monday, I texted my buddy Billy and told him, said, hey, wind shifted, I'm going hunting. Went in there Monday, which was two days later, and uh, I seen this doe run this ridge, and she was nervous as all get out. She did not want to stand still. She kept looking back. So there come this buck. He was up on the ridge right in the corn row, the first corn row. And somehow, somehow, I don't know why, I've never seen it before. He looked down there at the corn pile and he broke off of that hot dough and came down there. And uh, man, I, I set up on a little island and it was just a perfect scenario for self-filming. And uh, as you'll see, if you watch the video, uh, it, was, uh, it was just a great shot. I'm not bragging myself, but it was a perfectly made shot, and the deer went 60, 65 yards and expired. So I get on the horn. I call my horsepower, a little bit of muscle, Billy, Keaton, and Scott Wilson, I believe, come to help us. And uh, he was an old woods buck. He run, that, he run that ridge. He probably ruled the roost around many of those ridges. But uh, it was a great time and a great memory. And uh, traditional bows, yeah, you're going to miss a few, but... Man, when you connect, it's off the charts. So if you if you're thinking about it, try it. If you're just a you know if you just want to kill something, it probably won't work for you. You gotta have patience. You gotta put arrows through the uh, through the bow itself. Many arrows takes lots of practice, but it will happen. And uh, as long as I can bend that stick, I'm not going back to compound or anything else. As long as my health holds up, I am getting up in years, but I'm still gonna bend that stick as long as I can do it. Well, without further ado, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to roll that clip right now. So uh, sit back and I hope you enjoy the show. Peace. Hey, guys. Here we are. Just got in a set. <clears throat> we call it the easy set. It's, uh, it's just not too hard to get into. That's why we named it the easy set. It's somewhere around, I don't know, 3, 315. It's 330 actually, so we're in here. We don't have a clue what's here other than we know there's big rubs. First time in. We'll see what's gonna go happen. Buddy and I put up a couple cameras. Got several does. We checked at one time with the cameras, but we know those does did not make those rubs. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna sit in here tight. Got about two and a half hours in dark, and see what we can see.
Hey guys, shot this buck about five o'clock. We got the dog here, we're trying to learn that, how to track a little bit. Name's Kaylee, she does a pretty good job. She already found one. Give this deer plenty of time. Reviewed the film. Looks like it's money. So we're gonna go in here and see what we can find. Keep you posted. Found it. That is a freaking help, stud, I'll man. Do. Are you sure you don't need help? All right, I'll look down here on the back side. Oh man, he's been dead ever since. Yep. Yep. Oh my he was gosh. running, man. He was yep. dead man running. Ready? One, two, three. three. He oh. did break off a big eye guard, Billy. He's look at that other one curled into his head. Oh, yep. Step user again. I'd say so. I think I'm a believer in the little hellraisers now. So this ain't no baby buck. It went through him and yep. It was, that's a it was, six it was clear up to there. Cow. Look at that big old hole in his horns, huh? He's had all kinds of stuff. He, he had a big brow from the time here he broke off. Yeah. Bring him up ours, huh? Here. Take that and put it up there. Prop him up against this tree. Look oh. Where, oh man, look where he hit that. Look there, hit the tree. Smacked the tree. Knocked the bark off of it. Oh, look where his tines even hit. Look at that. Sure enough. When he didn't break them off. What is this about, Scott? It grew right back down. Right down it's his curled head. right down in his head, ain't it? It is. Holy cow. Man, that's cool. Bring it out of your hurt you. That's good. All right, guys. Here's a recovery. He ain't going to score much, but I promise you, he's a six or seven year old buck. He's a big one. Uh, got eight points, got a big brow broke off. We're going to get him out of here, get some better picks. Shoot you some later. I see seven points, Dad. Alright guys, so that was the hunt. I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed that. Uh, we will have some more content for you guys next Thursday on the Throwback Thursday, but don't worry. There will be content posted other than just every Thursday. Uh, hopefully there will be some actually really recent content coming of me putting an arrow through a big one. Um, you know, and it's just been a blast making these videos and I know we just started but it's been really fun so far and we appreciate all you guys that have watched the videos so far and have uh, subscribed to us and stuff like that and are interested in what we do because it is a little different from obviously compounds and crossbows and not many people compared to the crossbow and compound hunters do what we do and it's just really cool to see that other people have the same interest as us uh dad do you have anything else to say nope just take a camera with you uh 20 years has gone by fast make lots of memories take your children just just capture everything you can capture because before you know it you're going to be sitting back watching them because you'll be too old to hunt but I'm still, you know, I don't want to sound grim and dim, but it's reality. Capture everything you can capture. And, and just stay consistent with your tradition if you do try it. It's, uh, it's very rewarding. It's a blast. Uh, 120 inch deer means as much as 180 inch deer when you get it with a traditional bow. So oh. traditional pursuits, going to try to throw some stuff your way and keep watching. All right, guys, just stay tuned. Like I said, for next Thursday, we'll be right back here. We'll try to get it uploaded around the same time, which that'll be around 6 o'clock p.m. Standard Eastern Time. So, uh, peace out.